for another video. Today I am going to be sharing with you my 5 minute makeup routine which is one that I use pretty much every day to be honest. This is one for either when you're in a rush or when you're having one of those days where you don't feel like having a complete no makeup day but you do want to still have a little bit of makeup on without having to go through the effort of going full out. So this is just a really simple quick makeup routine that uses very minimal products. They're all high street branded products as well so it's great for an everyday kind of routine as well or for going to school or college just to help make yourself look a little bit more awake and a bit more refreshed as well. So I always start off with concealer. For this quick makeup routine I don't bother with foundation. I usually don't on a day to day basis just going with the concealer unless I'm having a seriously bad skin day. And the concealer I use is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and contour concealer that was a big mouthful and I use the shade C4 sadly mine is starting to run out and I can't buy it anywhere near me so I'm gonna have to get a new one soon from somewhere I might order it online I might have to do that I'm literally having to scrape around the sides to get it I've said this before in videos but I'm gonna say it again this is honestly one of the best affordable high street concealers out there it's only about four pounds I want to say Get your hands on one if you can because it's amazing. So with this I will basically just put it under my eyes either side in sort of like a upside down triangle kind of thing. And then also if I've got any spots or anything then I'll use this just to help cover them up as well. And such a little product gives such an amazing coverage, honestly it's amazing. And then I'll just use some kind of a little sponge to blend this in. I will then take my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder just to give sort of an even finish and also help set that concealer and make it last all day and I'll just apply this with a giant brush. I actually got this in Primark and it's pretty good quality I must say. It's great for just applying this powder all over your face as it's literally like a massive brush. I do then like to add a little bit of a glow so I'm going to take my Tanya Burr Cosmetics Peachy Glow Cheek Palette. At this time of year as we're approaching the warmer months and summer's on its way, I definitely go to bronzer all the time because you just need that little bit of extra help, especially when you've got a skin complexion like mine which is quite pale and you get people starting to look quite tanned, you do need a little bit of an extra glow. So I am just going to take this bronzer using the, which one is this? It's called the Buffing Brush, the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, and just apply this under my cheekbones. I always apply the most bronzer under my cheekbones, and then I'll also just apply a little bit around my eyes and down to my jawline as well, as well as a little bit along my jawline, teeny bit on my nose and then also to the top of my forehead, sort of in all the places where the sun would kind of naturally hit and give you that glow so it doesn't look too sort of put on. I'm then also going to take the blush which is called Apricot Flush from this palette too and just apply this to the tops of my cheekbones. I'm then also going to use the shimmer powder called Champagne Shimmer from this palette too and use my Body Shop Fan Brush just to apply this to the tops of my cheeks either side and down around the side of my face as well as then just a little bit on the tip of my nose and Cupid's bow and then a bit to the centre of my forehead and the tip of my chin. I love this one just as like an everyday go to quick makeup look because it's not very intense in the shimmer but it does just give you that subtle little kind of highlight which is just great for daytime and when you're in a rush and not wanting to overdo your makeup. Now for eyebrows I'm going to take my NYX micro brow pencil in the shimmer Blonde which is number two and for this it's got oh I just <laughs> that is not great I just picked up the mirror on the magnified side instead by mistake I'm gonna put it back to the normal one I was not expecting to see quite a full-on close-up of myself when I looked in the mirror but yeah it's got a little brush at one end as well as the eyebrow pencil itself so I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows. This is great for applying a really natural looking brow which I love because I never go too full out or too defined with my brows. I prefer a more sort of natural look as I have got 
fairer hair and also my eyebrows naturally aren't that dark so I prefer to go for a more natural kind of look and this has a very precise small eyebrow pencil which is ideal for that. I'm now going to put on some of the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara which is one of my everyday go-to faves. I love it, it gives such great volume and yeah, it's just honestly since I've started using this mascara I have not gone back to any others. I usually will put two layers on my top lashes and then one layer to my bottom lashes. But like already with just one layer, I don't know how I will be able to see on camera but the difference it makes is incredible. Now for my lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Mega Shine Gloss in the shade, I think this is natural, is it called? Natural, yes. And I love a good natural nude kind of colour for my lips during the day, or also especially, like I said before, as we're approaching summer, I don't know, just when it is the warmer months, I feel like a good nude is a great shade to go for, as opposed to in winter, I love to wear dark shades, it just fits in so much better, but in the springtime, pinks and very neutral shades just seem to work perfectly. And I don't always go for glosses, but I've been using this a lot recently, and I find that as it does get warmer and your skin starts to dry out more, you do feel like something a bit more hydrating like a gloss. And the NYX ones are so thick and stay on your lips for so long they don't sink in like most glosses do, which I love because the colour actually lasts for a long time and you don't need to keep reapplying it all the time, which is so good. Because I would normally go for a liquid lipstick, but glosses at the moment are doing it for me, so that is what I have decided to go for today. Also, these ones smell incredible. I still haven't quite figured out what it is. I don't know if it's like... It reminds me of some kind of like cherry sweet or something like that, I don't know. It reminds me of something from when I was a kid, but honestly, it smells incredible. So as you can see, I used very few products. It's a very quick, simple makeup routine, but it does just help you to look a bit more refreshed without having to go to any kind of effort really at all. And even I just now was talking through a lot of this video and it probably took me less than like 10 minutes to do this. So easily on a day to day basis, it'd be about a five, 10 minute makeup routine, which is honestly like no time at all. Because I know when I go full out with my makeup, I can take a good 20, 30 minutes to do it. So this provides such a great solution just on a day to day basis. And when I really can't be bothered, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash the big thumbs up if you did, as well as clicking the little red subscribe button down below. And don't forget there is the note notifications bell there too that you can tap so that you're notified every time I upload which is every Wednesday and Sunday at 4 p.m. and also I will just say quickly I do have a vlogging channel I do vlog daily mostly I barely take any kind of days off I do post pretty much daily on there so that's always linked down below I never really promo it on this channel so I just thought I would just in case you didn't realize that I do also have a vlogging channel so you can see what I get up to more in my day to day life if that's what you're interested in at all and yeah I will be sure to see you very soon on Sunday with a brand new video bye